Right, I'm not sure if this is going to work very well as a watchable video, but it did dawn on me that the plants that are leaving to go to Sean, it might be worth recording them, because in amongst them might be some people's favourite plants, and it will be a last look. Um, now, I have done a separate... I'm working back to front here. I've got my mouse around the wrong way. Um, I did do a subset of my um, of my orchid list, my notes as I call them, um, with the names of who's getting what. And I'm hoping if I put that over there, it won't press on the keys, just so that I can scroll. Looks like it's going to work. The idea being, I'm going to. use this and hopefully this is big enough to put all the plants in. Now the plants that are in here um, I need to get out of the way so I'm hoping they'll all just fit down here on my watering table. They're all small pots they should fit on there okay. And then this will do to transport the plants. If they'll all go in there, if not I'll need something extra like a box or something. But the idea is to try and find all the plants on the list. Right, first one, Bulbophyllum. I know exactly where that is. That's there. Um, this is just coming back into growth. It's got new growth coming out all over it. So, uh, so you've got new growths showing in many places. So uh, that's that'll be fine. Yeah, that'll be fine. Um, next we've got the Pachycephalum. So this is the hard bit, is I've got to find them. <laughs> Which I thought might be a bit of fun, with me struggling to try and find where the hell I put them. Now I'm pretty sure that one's over here somewhere, but where? That's the question. Um, what's that one up to? Is that it? Ouch. We're doing bending again, aren't we? We shouldn't be. Oh, mind you, there aren't many down at ground level. Well, that isn't the one, but I think it's one that is on his list. it was. Oh, well, perhaps not. I'm sure that was to go. I can't see it on the list anywhere. I'll put that to one side and go down to the next one, um, which is... Still got to find that patchy sepalum, haven't I? Gotcha. Little black flies, yuck, hate them. <laughs> I know this is going to see, but well, let, let me get this one down because I know this one's going to Sean. This one's currently in bloom. And this one just doesn't grow well for me and it needs work. I, I believe it needs to go in a pot so that it gets hydrated better because even the latest growths are not doing well. Now this has been sprayed, but there are a couple of bugs on it, so as I said, Sean will get a, a health warning, watch out for the bugs basically, but this is just not growing well at all. Now this could be a temperature issue, I believe it's more likely to be a hydration issue because these roots don't hydrate with a spray and the plant's starting to dehydrate. But it is currently in bloom, so it has finally reached blooming size. So that one's definitely to go in. Uh, right, we've got the Procatabola Golden Peacock. Now these are going to be difficult. That was the um, that was the um, Epidendrum Lanipes, 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 whatever you want to say. Now we've got the Richara Francis Fox. 
Now, I don't know which one that is. I really don't know. All I know is that it's one of the Catlia types that's not doing very well and it won't have a label. So what I'm going to do, that I believe is one of them and deep down in there is a lovely strong new growth. So although this looks a mess, it did push a new growth up with a failed sheath and um, it is a Catlia type, so it will have some scale on it. Been sprayed, I don't mean to say they're all dead. And it's currently in moss and bark, and it could probably do with going in something else. And then the other one, which is highly likely to be the same thing, is this one. They were both potted up the same way, and I believe that's those two. So that's that. I suppose I ought to tick these off or do something to say I found them, hadn't I? I'll just put the colour code in there. That's the easiest thing. I fill that in with, um, uh, what should we use? Well, we've used yellow and green, so perhaps we ought to use... Oh, my mouse is going mad here. Um, we'll use red. Red says I've done it, basically. And then I can just do a control and see. Can I do control and see? Can I get at the sea? Go away. What's wrong with this mouse? Oh, it's got a twist in it. That's what it is. Right. That's better. And then we can just, wherever the... Oh dear, oh dear. This is just silly. Start again. The mouse did a wobbly then and um, went absolutely berserk. So we'll start again. Oh, come on, don't mess me about. Right, it's bulb of film. We will colour code that with red. Control and C, and then I can just do Control and V. So what else have we got then? We've done the Francis Fox, so that's done. And we've done the Lanipi, Lanipis, we've done that one. Right, we've got a Restrepia, and it's a big one, one of the big ones. So we'll have to move some stuff. And this is the one that doesn't bloom very often for me, and it has trouble hydrating. Um, and a lot of that is um, used to probably be the heat. Um, now I've forgotten which one it is now. It's one of two. It is Hemsley Anna. So that's this one. Oh. I mean, this is a good sized plant. I was going to use this. I got tagged by in Insa, my most unusual orchid. Well, this is it, and it's going to somebody else, so it's too late. I may find another one. The reason I was going to choose it as my most unusual orchid, because of the way it grows. It grows leaves, growths, whatever you want to call them, from the base. And then out of the back of the leaf, it's capable of pushing up another growth. It's also capable of blooming from exactly the same place, the underside of the leaf. And I don't believe there are any other orchids that do that. Anyway, that's a nice sized plant. So that's that one. Right. Now we've got the Sologeny. Memoria. This is one of Derek's plants. Um, now my change of heart with um, Sologenes might have meant that I wanted to keep this, but um, I've decided not. And oh, if I can get it. Now this has grown a nice strong new growth. Um, and the next thing that might happen to this is it might bloom or it might produce another growth. 
but it's a linear type xylogeny. It just keeps growing one or two growths at the front and creeps across the pot. So that's that one. Right, now, Sean put down that he wants all of my telumnias. I've now got to make a decision. Do I pass them on to somebody else? I'm not keeping them, so they're either going to Sean or going in the bin. And out of that big long list in the notes, there's only three left. And that might even be classed as only two left. Because they're in a right state. They have not done well at all this year. Now that one... hasn't got any new growths. This growth is failing and I can see why it's failing straight away. If I cut that leaf off, then this is the problem you've got with the alumnias. The leaves fold and if you can get them to unfold by getting your nail in between the two parts and prizing them apart, if you can do that, then that's what you find down inside a mass of scale eating away at the base of the leaf and killing it yeah so you take your chance if you take them on board quite honestly because they have still got scale so this one has a new growth and is not that bad so that one could recover so we'll tuck that one in uh, this one Again, has another new has a new growth here, and it has a new growth here, and another one here. So this one is coming and here. This one is coming back into growth, but it's not that healthy. But it could recover. So that one's sort of worth having a go at. Prop that one up there. And where did I put that other one? This one I really don't think is. No, I'm not giving that to somebody it's too far gone. Now the ones that I'm passing on <coughs> have got no tags so you won't find out what they are until they bloom. So that's the telumnias. I'll mark them all down as gone even though there's only two gone and one in the bin. Never mind, they just haven't done well. And then we've got my Arengus fastuosa. I know exactly where that is. Now this is slowing up. Well, it's lost a leaf there and it's got another one on the way out. But nonetheless it's okay. All this needs is more warmth. It's growing okay. It has actually put some new roots out last year. But it is slowing up. And I think if I keep it, it will deteriorate. Now it has bloomed, so it is blooming size, even though it looks small. So, and its latest leaf is a good size, yeah? So that will be okay, that will be fine. Right, so that's, that's that one. And what's left? Oh, this mouse keeps doing strange things. Oh, I know what it is, it's because I'm pressing on the mouse mat, which is pressing the keys underneath. Duh. <laughs> Right, well at least we've found out what's going on then. Yeah, stop pressing on the mouse mat. Right, so the only thing I've got to do now is find these couple up the top. Um, and I've got the Procatabola. Well, that's it actually, that is the only one I, can't, I haven't got. Now it's one of a set, and they're all together, and most of them haven't got tags, so this might be a guess. <laughs> right, well it's definitely not that one, because that's the new one that I got, and that's David Sander. Yeah, and that has got a tag. What else have we got here then? That's Golden Peacock. So it's probably this one then. No, that's Make A. Do you know, I've got a feeling it's one that I've already chucked out because it had gone too far. That's 
little cane and trick. That's one I specifically bought. Well, it's not here, let's put it that way. And if it's not here, it's because it doesn't exist. Um, so that must, have, that must have gone out. It's the only thing I can think of. That's um, Seagull's Raindrop, cross with something. That is David Sanders, as I just said. That's a Catlia type with no ID. I'm pretty sure I know what that is. Um, when it eventually blooms, that's golden pea. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What am I looking for here? I'm looking for Procatabola golden peacock. Well, it says there on the tag, doesn't it? Again, it's a Catlia type. The chances are it's got some scale. Uh, we'll need looking after. It's been treated, but that doesn't mean to say it's clean. And this has got a nice new growth coming. So this, this, is, this is okay. This will grow on but it could do with some heat, yeah? It's had a few new roots grow. It's actually got quite an extensive root system, but it's not an active root system. It's a tired old root system. But um, the scale need dealing with permanently, preferably, and then you've got a new growth here, and that new growth there looks like it's gonna bloom. It does actually have, does actually have a bud down in there, so that might actually bloom. So there we go, those are they for Sean, and um, if he hasn't brought a box to put them in, then Sarah will provide one, so that will be okay, and um, yeah, those can stay in here till tomorrow morning and then go in the car before I go. So, that's that one done. So that's, that's one lot to go, and then all of the rest are to go to Carol, which is a lot. Um, there's a Shelob Tolkien, that's an immature plant. It's what's left of a good plant that's now growing on. And then we've got, oh blimey, there's all sorts in here. Quite a lot of Dendrobiums. Um, my Delicatum, Comet King. All of my um, Phalaenopsis type Dendrobiums, that's Thai Angel. Two Spring Eclipse, Thailand Black, my Dendrobium Moniliform, doesn't grow well here, give it to somebody else. Dracivalia, uh, a couple of Mazdavalias, one, two, three, four Mazdavalias, one Ristrepia, and then there's Miltonias, a Miltoniopsis, I don't think you're getting that one because that went in the bin, um, and, and some other stuff. And including Oncidiums, there's a Shari Baby in there, a Nelly Isla, Red Velvet, um, a Soto Anum, Sweet Sugar. Uh, there's one of the Rossio Glossums, because I've got two. This is a big box full. Um, and then I've got um, <laughs> several that are iffy. They might not be what I think they are, they might be something else. And it's a case of, well, grow them on, get them to bloom, and then they'll be identifiable. So uh, quite a lot to go to. A um, couple of Phalaenopsis to go. And um, my Vasa Vixella, that just will not grow for me. So all these ones that won't grow for me, if somebody else can get them to grow, it's a bonus. Because otherwise they're just going to deteriorate and end up going in the bin. So it's got to be worth letting somebody else have a go, isn't it? It's got to be. So there we go. So if I get to save that before I corrupt it anymore by pressing... <laughs> right. Right, there we go then. And that's Sean's lot, ready to go. Um, I'm going to put that in, because I'm sure that was one that he wanted. It's going in there anyway. If he doesn't want it, he can give it to somebody else. So that's Sean's lot, ready to go for tomorrow. Um, just in the boot of the car, and away they go. Um, when I do carols, that, that could be a very long video, because first of all I've got to find them, then I've got to unpot them, get as much of the old media off as pos possible, and then they'll have to be wrapped. They'll, what they will probably get is a bit of damp kitchen roll around the roots, yeah, just to stop them drying out. And then they'll all get laid crisscross, Starting at the bottom of the box, building upwards, um, you know, with some packing around to stop them 
migrating all over the place and I'm hoping to do that in one box full so one box to post and I need a guarantee of um, three or four days of mild weather starting on a Monday or a Tuesday so that they don't end up in a depot over the weekend but quite honestly they'll go via the post office probably parcel force and they are actually delivering seven days a week. So this business of them hanging around in a depot over the weekend probably doesn't apply anymore. Anyway, plants to go, lot number one, in the car tomorrow. I'm saying tomorrow, but by the time this video gets posted, it might actually be today, or it could be yesterday, <laughs> who knows? But they're going on Sunday, and I'll probably get this posted later today, Saturday. See you next time. Thanks for dropping by.